Hey, troops. So if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, um, leave a comment, turn on the bells, notifications, all of those great things. So it is time for story time. Um, I was simply reminded that when I got to 100 subscribers, I would tell the story about me going to jail. We're going to make this quick, though, right? Um, so me going to jail. So a couple months back, what was this, like July? End of July? Yeah, end of July. Um, I went to jail. I spent the entire weekend in jail. I was in a 23 to 1 cell. Um, and I was in there for domestic violence. I know, right? Shame on me. So let's get into it. Um, moved into my lady's father's house and... Things just did not go the way that they were supposed to go, right? Um, and one of those nights, like, great day. Had a good day. No no arguing, no nothing. Like, we were in a good state, or so I thought, right? Um, and that morning, we had sexual intercourse, right? And so, like, around 10 o'clock, he decided that he was going outside. That's fine. Um, you leaving out. Y'all, he did not come in the house until 6 o'clock in the morning. When he came in at 6, I went to sleep. I didn't even, I didn't cuss him out. I didn't fight. I didn't argue. I didn't any of those things. Went to sleep. When I got up at around 11 or noon, somewhere around that time, I got on Twitter. And a female that he had been messing with, now, like, let's bring it back a little bit. Um, everybody know that I was pregnant, had an abortion, and so forth. Literally, the day after I had an abortion, this is the same female that he ended up, like, dealing with. Now, from my understanding, I guess they started talking, like, around that time or, like, right before the end or during the time that I was pregnant or however it ended up turning out, only they know, right? And so, um, ended up dealing with this female. And so, of course, I naturally had anger and all of these other washing machine of emotions, not just towards him, but towards her too, because what the fuck, right? And so, um, over time, this woman ended up getting pregnant. Um, he was there throughout the pregnancy, claiming it, saying it's his baby mother, all of these different things. And the baby turned out not to be his, right? And so, found out that the baby wasn't his. And no, probably shouldn't have went back, shouldn't have dealt with him, any of those things. But I did. Ended up moving into his house. He reached out to me, asked me to come there. We need to get our foundation together uh, once we were finished. Um, basically, once we met our financial goal, we would discuss being together and how we wanted to move and all of these things. A week into being into his house, he's like, we don't need to decide how we going to be. We just need to meet our financial goals and then we can move like our separate ways from there. The, a day later, that shit happened, right? So coming in at six, got on Twitter. This same female then posted that they just had sex and all of these things. So I woke him up like, what's up? Where you was at? Who you was with? Like, now I got questions. And now he did the worst thing ever by being sarcastic. If you ask him, you already know. And I took a deep breath, y'all. And I was like, damn, I really want to fuck shit up right now. I'm like, you really making me want to like spaz. And he just looked. And it was a dumb look, and I lost it. Before I know it, I was monkey barring off of the TVs. I was on top of him beating him with the phone. I was I was out of body. I was out of character. I was angry. I was flipping tables. I was throwing chairs. Um, at some point throughout this, like, he had ended up, like, it was an altercation. Like, he, we fought. You know, he ain't just let me hit him you know we fought we had a whole altercation um and I know like I had posted about like the scars and all of those things that that was on my neck and it's still there it's, I'm sweating it's still there but whole point in case we ended up fighting and some at some point throughout that 
he had woke the kids up and like the kids are just watching and his older son is like calling my daughter bitches and fat bitch stop crying and all of this and I'm constantly telling him like I'm telling him to stop and I'm telling him to get his son to stop like I'm telling his son to stop and I'm telling him to get his son to stop and they did it and before I knew it I didn't call this child a bitch and it's like you know you the bitch like you you the one and so that day so fast forward or whatever he ends up calling the police it took the police like 10 or 15 minutes to even get there and so like when the police finally got there they're like you know basically asking me to leave and it's like man i just moved my whole motherfucking house in here like i have nothing to go home to why would i do that so i'm like no and then like calm down i'm like no and i'm aggressive with the police and he said Something like, um, well, we're going to take you to jail. And I'm like, well, put me in handcuffs. Like, go ahead. And so I ended up talking my ass into going to jail. Um, they were already going to arrest me anyways because I was the aggressor. But I just gave them more reason because of how I responded and how I handled the situation. Do I think it's funny? Do I pride myself on it? No, any of those things. Why do I share the story in the first place? Is because oftentimes we choose our situations. I never should have even moved into that house. Not because it's wrong for me to want my family to work or for me to figure it out with my child's father, but because he didn't do the one thing, I didn't do the one thing. So how the hell was we ever about to attempt to do the two thing? Um, is so often it's so often that we sweep things under the rug whether it's our traumatic experiences whether it's things we've experienced together whether it's uh, the work we did not do and then we so quickly and swiftly want to merge it with somebody else because let's face it like life is already hard and it's so difficult to do alone that we oftentimes want a partner to do it with so i share these things to say do the one thing first. Figure your shit out first. And it's not that, oh, you have to arrive or accomplish all of these things um, alone before joining with another person. But know what ticks you off. Know what you can handle and what you can't handle. Know your deal breakers. Know how to communicate. Know how to be emotionally intelligent or how to handle your emotions. Because simply, I understand that access to me or losing access to me would have been the worst thing out of all, like out of all of the things I could have done just walking away and saying I'm not fucking with you you can't access me would have been way worse than me physically responding but in those moments we I in those moments in that moment I decided to react emotionally. And do I think that benefit me benefited me? Yes and no. And I'm gonna be honest. Yes and no. Yes, because that turned it flipped a switch for me. Prior to that experience, I would have kept going back and kept going back and kept going back. And is it to say like, oh, I won't go back now. I would never I, I'm not saying those things. I have no desire to go back. So it's not that. But I know the work. Like I know what that like I know what that is now. I didn't see that for what it was. You know, I didn't see that experience for what it was. I didn't see that person for what it was, for who he was. I didn't see me for what I was in that space. All I seen was our experiences our history, our, like the love, um, the dynamics of our relationship, the fact that we are, we, we trauma bond, like all of these things. Those are all of the things that I've seen. Like all I've seen was I invested time, effort, and energy into the situation and it's not going the way that I expected it for, expected for it to go or that he said it would go or that I said it would go or the way we invested in, in it going. And so all of those things became issues. So, in short, true. What you saying? What you saying out of all of this? Take time for yourself. Take time for yourself. Do the one thing before you do the two thing. Do the work for yourself before you dive into doing it with someone else. Why? 
because emotions are deadly and emotions can end us up in whole different spaces that we just don't want to be in, have no desire to be in, or emotions can fuck up our whole life. So just make sure you take a moment for yourself, take time for yourself and figure out the one thing before you do the two things.